Hey guys, it's Mr. Eric. This is God's Word, the Bible. In 2 Timothy, we read just a few of the amazing things about the truth in God's Word. All Scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. That's 2 Timothy 3.16. The Bible is the most important book any Christ follower should read. Within these pages are true stories of real people we can learn from and instruction for how to live our lives in obedience to God. We can gain much wisdom and knowledge from reading scripture. As we continue exploring with the wonder blimp of knowledge, we will discover more of what God wants us to know and learn. Our bottom line today is respect God through praise. And so today's big question is, how do we show respect to God through praise? To answer that question, we'll need to figure out, hmm, what is praise? Why should we praise God? And how can we praise God? I can't wait to find out more about respectfully praising God. So let's climb aboard the wonder blimp of knowledge. Hey BR Kids, welcome back. Last time, we talked about what respecting God looks like. God is the one true God, and so he is worthy of praise, honor, worship, glory, and so much more. Because of that, we should be willing to trust, follow, and obey him. He deserves it. We can respect God by obeying him and showing that we love him by worshiping him with all of our hearts. Part of our worship is spending time communicating with him through prayer, as we experienced last time. Today, we will see that another part of worship is praising God. Everybody say, praise God. Say it again, praise God. Check this out. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Psalms 150, verse six. I have breath. Let's take a deep breath together, everybody. You have breath too. Well, if we all have breath, then what are we supposed to do with it? Hmm? Praise God. Praise God, praise God. According to Psalm 150 verse six, we are to praise the Lord. In fact, praising God is so important, it says it twice. Also, the idea of praising God is said 13 times in Psalm chapter 150, and there are only six verses. And another thing, there are many more Psalms that were written with the purpose of praising God. You see, a psalm is a song written to praise and glorify God. Here are a few examples. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. That's Psalm 8, 9. How about this one? Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy, for the Lord most high is awesome, the great King over all the earth. That's Psalm 47, 1 and 2. And listen to this one. Shout for joy to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down to you. They sing praise to you. They sing the praises of your name. That's Psalm 66, one through four. Wow, reading the words that other people used to praise God can help us have a deeper understanding of the awesome character of God and show us some of the ways we can praise him too. Praise is a way of showing our thankfulness to God, which can be through our words, like in a song or through something that we do. In Mark 14, we can take a look at a true story about a woman who chose to respect and praise Jesus in a rather unusual way. Take a look at this. Stories of the Bible. Jesus is anointed at Bethany. This is Jesus. hey -o! who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were getting ready to celebrate a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. 
two days before the Passover, Jesus was in Bethany at the home of Simon. Hey, 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 come on in! A man who had previously had leprosy. While Jesus was eating, a woman came in with a beautiful jar of expensive perfume. She broke the jar open and poured perfume over Jesus' head. Jesus' disciples were upset when they saw this. They said, what a waste. It could have been sold for a high price and the money given to the poor. What'd you do that for? So they scolded the woman. Ah, hold on there. But Jesus said, leave her alone. Why criticize her for doing such a good thing to me? You will always have the poor among you, and you can help them whenever you want to, but you will not always have me. She has poured this perfume on me to prepare my body for burial. I tell you the truth, wherever the good news is preached throughout the world, this woman's deed will be remembered. 300 denarii? Whoa, that was a year's worth of income from her worker back then. Well, that would be something like $30,000 today. And the woman, she just broke the jar and poured the precious ointment all over Jesus' head. Some of the other guests looked at her as if she were crazy, but it didn't matter what they thought. Jesus defended her and said that she had done a beautiful thing. Do you think Jesus felt honored and respected in that moment because of what the woman had done? Yep, I would think so. See, the woman respectfully worshiped Jesus by taking something very special and using it in such a way as to show that she knew that Jesus was even more special than the very expensive ointment. Remember, we can respect God through praise. Let's say that together. Respect God through praise. God is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our praise. The woman worshiped with her whole heart and her example teaches us that God is honored by the praise that comes from our hearts. Now, who is ready to learn some awesome stuff? Right, so here I have three questions for you. Number one, what is praising God? Well, we praise God when we show God how amazing we think he is. We give thanks to him and we celebrate his works and his love. Praising God is recognizing that he is the all-powerful creator of everything and wanting to tell him that or show him that in a genuine and respectful way. Okay, number two, how do we praise God? But how do we do that? Well, there are so many ways. We could be here for hours, but the kind of short answer is this. How you praise God is up to you. The woman in the true Bible story chose to anoint the head of Jesus with very expensive ointment. Paul and Silas sang songs while chained up in jail. You can sing songs or speak words that tell true and amazing things about God. You can dance and use your body to show the God praise. You can write words or draw pictures about God. You can give gifts to him, such as helping others in the name of Jesus, cleaning up the church building, or giving money as a tithe or offering. And the list goes on and on. What matters most is that not so much what you do or say to praise God, but the heart behind why you are choosing to praise him in the first place. Which brings us to the third question. Why should we praise God? Why? Well, God loves to hear our respectful praise. We were created by God to worship him. Praising God allows others to see and know how amazing God is. When you truly understand more of who God is and you spend time building your relationship with him, you will want to praise him because, well, you will know how worthy he is. We should praise God because he deserves it. We should respect God through praise. Here's a challenge for you. Over the next week, spend time with God and think about some different ways that you can respectfully praise him. Then make it a point to actually give God the praise that he deserves. That's all I got for you. Have a great week, you guys.